Percent interest for 90 days. Zero percent. Nobody beats the win. The Yankees are six outs from sweeping this four-game series. And the brooms are out here in the Kingdome. I'm not sure. Yankee fans not anticipating sure. that. I'm not sure. Toilet, toilet bowl cleaner counts there. <laughs> One broom and whatever that other thing was. <laughs> Might have been a squeegee in there as well. Now the 2-2 from Davis. Whoops. And a drive deep to left for Larritz. And this ball is going to go. Jimmy Larritz, who homered in the first, has hit another one out in the ninth. A two-run shot. Larritz with five runs batted in today, and it's 11-4 New York. Bernie Williams scores in front of him the 15th home run for Larritz. He now has 50 runs batted in. Don't laugh at this because I'm serious. When you've got a bad front footer, as he does with that guard, you've got to stay back on the ball. You can't really transfer your weight and lunge at the ball. And he's the double by Bordick, the only hit, and the walk by Baroa, both in the first. Boggs should have it on a couple of long hops over to Don Mattingly. So Perez has set down 14 consecutive A's, and he seems to be getting stronger. After five here in the Oakland Alameda Coliseum, 1-0 Yankees with the brooms in Seattle for the sweep and they follow the Yankees down here to Oakland. And they plan on I think uh, heading to Anaheim as well ran into them at the ballpark from Manhattan and enjoying the West Coast with the Yankees 2000 hits hitting 299 to start the evening had two hits last night and the pitch to Don outside ball one. So he bats with the bases empty and one out. They're following us all over with yeah. booms and now with this. Down is just two hits away from 2,000. 1,998 career hits. Two and nothing. They made all the stops. You're right. Seattle, Oakland, now Anaheim. A group from Manhattan. Why did we get a job like that? <laughs> The pitch is high. Three. Uh-oh, they're kicking them out of their seats, boys. Oh, what, do they put the sign up in front of someone? No, nope, I think somebody's uh, got those <laughs> seats. I thought maybe because they're blocking a view, but they were in somebody's seats and just, they came with the right tickets. Just like some <laughs> some street smart fans from Manhattan. <laughs> oh, my. Mattingly walks. Uh, there they are. He <laughs> said, wait a minute. You belong here in the cheap seats, fellas. <laughs> That must have been some mistake. They printed duplicate tickets. <laughs> they made their point, though. Yes, they did. Great camera angle, <laughs> stop action. They knew just what they were doing. We're going to bring them to Hollywood to produce. Mattingly at first, one out. Mike Stanley at the plate. Mike's the designated hitter tonight. He hit third last night in the seventh spot against Lorraine tonight. Uh, they're finding their right seat. They were just one section over. So they weren't trying to upgrade their seats. They were on the up and up. They were in the. Glad to see that they were in the right uh, box seat area, but just one section over. So an honest mistake. Mm -hmm. This one is too low. So the count is one ball, no strikes. I mean, who are we to question their <laughs> motives? There they are. They he's are saying, still looking. He's saying, no, just, just one over. Boys, they're way up there. In yeah. fact, they're way up there. <laughs> way down the line. These ushers, was, are, these ushers are pretty sharp. They don't have to stay in that second section be, either. It had to be inadvertent. <laughs> Pitch is upstairs, and Stanley fouls it mm -hmm. away. Oh, well, now, wait. See, wait, they're back here? I can't see from back here. <laughs> Seats, they get booted out of one section. They end up in the worst section. And in all of us, they just keep showing up. I yeah. can't understand it. Sometimes these guys just show up. Well, um, and I think it's uh, probably uh, incumbent upon us to help these young fellows. They're here from uh, the west side of Manhattan. There's ball four and do what we can for them. I think it would be only the humane thing to do. I I'm willing to give. I'm willing to give them your seat. No, no, that's that is not them on top of the new scoreboard. <laughs> That's where they wanted to put them. All the way out there. Lead tickets and uh, 
Those are the kind of seats you get. Well, you think they'd I enjoy think the they bleachers? Better than that. They, they could enjoy the bleachers. That'd be a nice place yes, for them. Sure. sure. Or how about here? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Jeremy, Chad, and Jeremy, huh? Who's the Chad? Chad right here, huh? All right, guys. Well, enjoy yourselves. J.T. Snow goes after the first one and lifts a fly ball into left. And O'Neill makes the grab. Myers hangs on at first. One gone. You guys better not leave. Uh, you better stick around because uh, you're kind of a good luck charm. Have you seen a loss yet? Oh, one. Yeah. Well, oh, that's right. Oakland. Oh, gee. We're, we're looking for a perfect record out of you. Out of here, guys. <laughs> Got a loss on All the right. road. Take care now. All see right. Ya. All right. We'll see you guys. One on, one out. Harold Reynolds. I thought Chad and Jeremy were older than that. One thing they didn't do, did you see the reverse of their 2,000 hit sign? Yeah. It, it was one of those send money mom on the back. Why didn't <laughs> let them show up? Check your pockets. Here's Harold Reynolds. Pitch low, blocked by Larris, but he comes up with it, and he's going to throw him out. I think the Yankees ought to give uh, the two Jeremys and Chad season tickets. <laughs> Boy, they've, they've been a Following great this uh, team around. Good luck charm on this trip. The ball and the strike to Edmonds. Paul O'Neill, who is hitless on the night until this slicing base hit. Jackson can't get to it. It ends up as a double. Wade Boggs scores. It's 12 to New York. And the Yankees cruise to a 12-3 win, and yes, folks, they're eight and one on the road trip with two games to go. Overall, the Yanks are 13 over 500 away from home. Two and one in Oakland, and they are now two and zero in California. Paul O'Neill, monstrous grab deep in left field, just part of the defensive charm he showed tonight. And as far as hitting is concerned, the Yanks had plenty of it as they are now 8-1, and one, and many New York fans on this road trip following New York through and through. Tomorrow, Yankees and the Angels. It starts with scorecard at 9.30 p.m. I'm Bruce Beck. Good night. Good morning from the Big A. He's off to a 2-0 lead as Don Mattingly opens the second inning and takes a strike. Needs a couple more to register 2,000. Hitting 295. Now that's, one ball, one strike. That sign couldn't have been from our friends, could it? The two Jeremys and Chad. You think they're here or they stay at Disney World? No, I think they were spotted at the ballpark again tonight. One ball, two strikes. <laughs> well, of course they would they be. Got, here. They got an 8 1 road trip going. That's they right. better show up. <laughs> if I were Mattingly or Tartable or somebody else, I would get them the free tickets. Absolutely. Take them along. Fifth inning, he has 1,999. And a ground ball beats it to center. There it is. Number 2,000 for Don Mattingly. Don Mattingly, a base hit to center. His second hit tonight and number 2,000 of his career. A visiting player getting a lot of people standing. Look who's here. There they are. <laughs> Traveling Yankee fans. They've been all over the West Coast waiting for this moment. Number 2,000. Mattingly picked up his first big league hit on the first day of October in 1982 off Steve Crawford of the Red Sox. And number 2,000 comes tonight off Russ Springer. Oh, too late. As Paul Gibson gets the final out of the ball game, and the Yankees win for the ninth time in ten times on the road. And there's that group that's been following us around. Nine and one, the road trip signature. And most of the Yankees congratulating Don Mattingly after the ball game. Of Steve Crawford of Boston, his 500th off Dan Quisenberry of Kansas City, and now Russ Springer will go down in history, giving up the 2,000th career hit for Don Mattingly, 197th player to record 2,000. We'll be back. Draws to a close.
So once again tonight, a memorable evening at Anaheim Stadium as the New York Yankees road trip, now 9-1, and one, and Don Mattingly with his 2,000th career hit as a Yankee, only other Yankees to do so, Gary, Ruth, Mantle, DiMaggio, and Berra. Here's the base hit by Mattingly, the landmark hit. It came off a former Yankee, isn't that ironic? Russ Springer. It happened on the road, but there was plenty of Yankee fans around. The reception was warm. It was genuine. And Mattingly saluted the fans for that ovation. Two base hits on the night for Mattingly. He may not play tomorrow. That wrist is still bothering him a little bit, but it doesn't matter now because he's got that 2,000 safely in tow. Yanks will go for 10 out of 11 tomorrow and they'll look to Jim Abbott to do so. So for Michael Kay and our entire staff, I'm Bruce Beck saying good night, good morning from the Big A in Anaheim. Crowd of better than 25,000 and it sounded as if about 24 were here rooting yeah. for the Yankees on the Mattingly home run. Low and outside for a ball. So our friends uh, Jeremy, Jeremy, and Chad have a chance to have a, a real a good Western swing. Yes, they do. Legs from even forming. See the difference? Yeah. Picture perfect. Head and shoulders turn standard problems into beautiful hair. They're back, looking for the tenth road victory. The They've been the with the Yankees on this entire <laughs> West Coast swing. They have the broom out. Strong comments from Steve Howe. That's a great line by him. And really, you know, everybody keeps writing and saying the Yankees need to close it. Their bullpen on this road trip was outstanding. It'll get lost in everything that happened. But every time they came in, they did the job. Every time. Mike, it's been a pleasure. Have a great trip home. It really has been fun. You too, Bruce. Now, for Michael Kay, we go to Chad, Jeremy, and Jeremy, the three guys that have been following the Yankees the entire road trip. They've had signs. They've got the brooms. They've enjoyed every minute of it. Chad, first of all, did you guys plan this trip a while ago? Well, actually, our father had uh, given it to us as a graduation present, me and my brother. And uh, we first flew out to Seattle and then drove down the coast to Oakland and then down to here, Anaheim. Jeremy, did you start the trip with lots of signs and brooms and things like that? Uh, well, in Seattle, we decided just on the spot to buy brooms before uh, the sweep was coming, we thought. And then uh, from there on, we just made all the signs on the spot at the, uh, at the games. Jeremy, was there a lot of grief along the way because you were in enemy territory? Oh, yeah, big time. We, all, we got kicked out of seats left and right. One guy in Seattle actually had us kicked out. He wasn't gotten enough sure. We got into a little yelling match. And uh, yeah, but, but for the most part, people have been friendly. But we've run into to, you know, to some bad waters. Well, you guys handled yourselves remarkably well throughout. Congratulations on enjoying a wonderful road trip. And uh, we'll see you guys down the line, all right? See you in New York. All right. They'll be back, by the way, Tuesday at the stadium, they say. So I guess their enthusiasm runs deep. New York Yankees winning in Anaheim, 6-4. to four. We'll see you on Wednesday at the stadium. Yankees will come back tomorrow, day off, then they'll play Tuesday.